today I'm going to tell you about a $250 at-home genetic cancer screening test. I did this test in 2017 and the results I got really surprised me. This tests you for mutations in the most common hereditary cancers, breast, ovarian, uterine, colorectal, melanoma, pancreatic, stomach, and prostate. The test also includes genetic counseling if you do have a mutation. Would you want to know if you had one of these mutations or would you rather just leave that alone? Because I know that not everybody wants to know these types of things, but for me, I really did want to know. And in this video, I'm going to share the results with you guys. The test I did was by the brand Color Genomics and I am not affiliated with this company in any way, shape or form. It's just that I did their test in 2017 and I wanna share this with you guys in case you're unaware of some of these options that are out there for cancer screening. It's a saliva test, it's not a blood test and you'll get your results in about a month. If you come up positive, they will not, from my experience, they won't put your results in there for you to see it. They'll say, you have a phone call with a genetic counselor and you have to make it for that phone call and then they'll give you the results and then they'll release it online. Not a huge fan of that process, but that's how they do it. I came up positive for a check to mutation. Many people have heard of the BRCA mutations because Angelina Jolie made these things really well known in the media when she had an issue because she came up positive with a BRCA mutation. This is a mutation that leaves you more susceptible to developing breast cancer in your lifetime. She took some would say like extreme measures to prevent her from getting breast cancer and I believe she had a double mastectomy. According to their website, the average risk for US women to develop breast cancer by the age of 70 is 7%. Some people might view that as high, some people might view that as low. Either way, I don't view that as helpful because I think they should have that broken down by age range, by 10 year periods. So I did more research on that. Oh, and by the way, it says with my mutation that it increases my risk to 20 to 44%, which seems crazy high. Uh, so I did further research and it turns out there are statistics that are based on various age ranges. I discovered that there's further data that estimates the risk of developing breast cancer in 10 year age intervals. Their data is not the same as what was presented on my report on the Color Genomics website. The SEER report states that by the age of 70, the average US woman has a 4% not a 7% chance of being diagnosed with breast cancer. That's a one in 24 chance. I'm not upset about my results, but it was a bit unsettling years ago. Because of the results, I receive breast cancer screening more often now. And I'll share this in a separate video for the ladies, but keep in mind that you can get breast ultrasounds instead of mammograms for annual screening to avoid excess radiation. When it comes to mutations, hereditary cancers account for about 5 to 10% of all cancer cases. Now, I want to be completely honest with you. When I did this test, Color Genomics was a much smaller company. I personally don't like their company. So in a second, I'm going to share with you a really awesome alternative if you want to go that route. When I first bought this product, I was also less aware of privacy matters. This is really important when it comes to your personal, private, genetic medical information. I don't remember them stating this years back, but their site now states, Sharing anonymized variants with public databases like the NIH's ClinVar to uncover more links between genetics and disease is not optional. In another area of the website, it says you can opt out of sharing your data. So at this point, I just don't trust them and they're giving like very mixed messages when it comes to privacy. On a positive note, I think this test is a good price for what you get. There is a company called Nebula Genomics and they offer a service where you can get your entire genome sequenced and I'm really excited about it. They stand behind anonymous genetic testing and giving the user full control over their personal genetic information. The information that you'll have access to is vast. You can also search for any hereditary cancer mutations and so much more. I have not done this test yet but I'm going to in the near future and I'll be sharing some of that experience with you in an upcoming video. Here are some short clips which share what you'll see and what you'll have access to when you get your results.
to be honest, there is quite a lot of lot of parts, um, and as you may see, it's loading. So we have traits, deep ancestry library, gene analysis, and genome browser. So I'm in the hundredth percentile. The more uh, disturbing one is uh, actually looking at male pattern baldness. There are 71 genetic regions associated. Thank you. I. Yeah, but I'll be very honest, I love being bald, so that, that's okay by me. And it, it continues to go down through different uh, characteristics, uh, interesting findings. Uh, in particular, uh, there's one on insomnia. Um, uh, there is uh, one on lacunar strokes, and where is your risk associated with that? Testosterone levels. All of these things, um, you know, it, it provides information. It can be overwhelming uh, and it can also be uh, very comical. If you found this video interesting, I have another test I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. And I've always wanted to do this. This is the true diagnostic test to test my genetic biological age.